the brain lymphatic system. The lymphatic system of all organs is a sort of a waste disposal system, like uh, uh, the drainage of your sink. So the lymphatic system is where all the toxins, all the products of the metabolism, like the exhaust fumes of the uh, combustion of the fuels from the cells, and the dead cells, or the cells infected by viruses and so on, where they end up. So you just want to get rid of those things through this waste disposal system that is the lymphatic system. The brain lymphatic system was connected with the general lymphatic system through a series of lymph nodes that are located in our neck, essentially here. The lymph coming from the brain drains in the lymph nodes, in the lymphatic vessels and the lymph nodes that are here next to the jugular vein. But also the lymph coming from the nose, from the ear, from the mouth, from the throat, drains in the same lymph nodes. Now imagine you have a cold, you imagine you have a sore throat, you imagine you have an ear infection or a throat infection. So I'm talking about the most common, the most trivial causes of infection or inflammation in our nose, throat and ears. These, in our opinion, is not the cause, but the pathogenesis of autism. That is, we don't know what is the cause, but we know how autism develops. It's a very hydraulic problem. The lymphatic vessels here in the neck become clogged because you have infection somewhere in your throat or nose or mouth, and because they are clogged, the lymph cannot drain from the brain. It accumulates, it produces those lesions that we had documented two years before. And by the way, this mechanism now is accepted for Alzheimer. So it has been fully accepted for Alzheimer. As far as autism is concerned, we have been the first to describe. Alzheimer more or less is the same. You have accumulation of this aberrant protein that is called amyloid protein that cannot be eliminated because the waste disposal system doesn't work. It's a very hydraulic problem. The problem is, you cannot call a plumber, how do you unclog these lymph nodes? How do you unclog these lymphatic vessels? You have to use ways to reduce inflammation. That's why in 2002, Matarazzo, the Brazilian researchers, described that by reducing inflammation in a child who had developed autism following an infection, was able to solve all the symptoms of autism and the child went back to regular life because he was able, not knowing what he was doing, to solve this plumber problem that is to unclog the lymphatic vessels.